Good morning, we're gonna make some crafts today. And if you were with us yesterday, when we read our stories, we talked about Togo and Balto, the two dogs that were in the, that brought the medicine to the children who had diphtheria in 1925 in Alaska. So today we are going to make a sled dog, a sled with the dogs. And if you got your packet, this is what you're gonna to use to make the craft. Okay, I copied mine onto brown construction paper. You can color it if you want. It doesn't even have to be brown. It can be whatever kind of sledge you want it to look like. There's one little piece that you make into a box. Just like that. So let me glue my pieces together. I had it taped to make sure it would work right. So now I'm gonna glue it so it'll stay. And also, if you have your packet, there's some more information about dog sled teams and how they used to make the dog sleds themselves. So you can learn about that. That's it so far. Now you have these extra little pieces. Which are going to go across here. This is if they had any cargo to carry. Whoops, it came off. Any cargo to carry. They would put it on top here. I think I'm gonna need some tape for this. Sometimes tape works better than glue. To be sure I can hold it together so you can see what we're doing. Take the last one to be sure it goes on. And it'll give you the little dotted lines that you can fold on so you know how it goes. right on the inside of the handles. Oh, my sled's falling apart. There's your dog sled. You can see all the little straps on the top. Now the most important part is the dog. And you have two dog patterns. I colored mine 
and cut them out. I glued the ears on already because they're little tiny pieces and I was afraid I'd lose my ears. And we're just going to put the dog's head on top of his body. And the little slit that you're gonna make. There's one dog. And here's my other dog. I made them different colors. So we would have a pretty sled team. our two dogs. Now we have to connect them to the dog sled. So we have some yarn. I cut two different lengths because one dog is going to be in front of the other one. And you're going to loop it gently. You don't want to hurt your dog around his neck. And if you don't have yarn, you could use string, you could use thread. I happen to have a lot of yarn, so that's what I use. You can stand him up in front of your dog sled. And I'm going to use a little bit of tape to tape his leash to the handle of the sled. My goodness, this is just giving me all kinds of trouble today, isn't it? Let's see if we can get you to stay like you belong. Okay. Now we have the other dog, and we're going to do the same thing with him. Tie this around his neck. And this was very, dogs were very important. Pulling these sleds, they would go hundreds of miles so they could help the people and bring all the children their medicine. Okay, we'll put him in the front. And tape his leash to the other side of the handle. Okay, and there is your dog sled. And they will run all over Alaska or your kitchen table or wherever you would like to decorate your house with them. If you haven't gotten your packet with this, these patterns in it, please come by. We still have some left. We'll have these through the end of the week where there will be next week's pattern, okay? See you soon. Enjoy making your dog sled.